this is Norwich City's Colney Training Centre. It's in the middle of its five million pound refurbishment work. We've got new pitches over there and a new 500 seater stand that's going to be plonked in behind me alongside young players getting new contracts and playing regular first team football. It's fair to say, it's a bit of a buzz around this place at the moment. Well, I think we built this for, for us, you know, so we, we've utilised every bit of space that we've got. But I think the second thing is, or the most important thing is, it's purpose-built. It's not lavish. It's, it's going to be, you know, it's not going to have things it doesn't need. You know, some of the spaces are going to be dual purpose. Um, so we've got a classroom that's going to be a media centre that's also going to be for, for Daniel as well. It's going to be first team orientated with some of the stuff. So we've built it with a practical sense in mind. Every day you come in and there's something, something new going up. Um, so we're, it, it's really moving on, it's really moving on quick and for, uh, for the boys of the 18s, probably for the best part of the, the last nine to nine months to, to a year we've, we've trained on the, on the 3G because uh, come winter time the, the pitches down the, the far end just end up getting waterlogged just because of, of the slope on them. So it's, uh, and now you walk over there and the, the pitch is perfect. Um, so the last last few weeks we've, we've been training on the grass and the, you know the boys are happy and as good as the, the 3G is, you know, it's always nice to it's always nice to play on the grass. Obviously the facilities now that we're, we're creating are fantastic. Um, I think the, the investment that's gone into to Colney now it, it was needed, um, but it's it's exciting. Um, it's had a lot of energy to the staff and the players, and um, it's a, it's an enjoyable time to be in around the academy. We're fortunate enough to visit quite a few places. We went over to Germany, obviously, and, uh, and see some of the, what they've done with their stuff. So, um, and I think it's just a practical element to it all. It's going to be nice, it's going to be new, but very practical. My job is to develop players for, for Matt. Um, so if, if, if you look at that, we've got five working with, with him. So uh, I think the, the way we're doing it now is, is working. And you look you know, beyond that, uh, you know your Adam Iders and your, your Spiros, or, uh, Anthony Spiro is doing really well, and then you, you look at Max as well. So, um, yeah, the, the performance is what we're looking we're, we're looking for, not necessarily not necessarily the result. Well, when I came in, um, I thought we had good players, you know, and I think you know there was there was certain things you you you, you know a culture you're trying to get into place. Um, and I think it was a culture sort of come from, from Delia, to be fair. Um, she, you know, my very first meeting with her in the first week was about, listen, we need to get young players in the team. I, I feel that we can do it. We owe it to Norfolk. We owe it to the, to the area. Uh, second thing is, is create an opportunity. And it's amazing you create an opportunity for what all people do. So I, I think uh, not everyone has found it easy, you know, because we, you know, your head's above the parapet a little bit. There's been a change in culture, um, a change in sort of I suppose going away from the team ethos at the academy, going towards individual players, uh, of which you're now starting to see uh, some of the, the fruits of, of, of that. So it's not been easy for Max, it's certainly not been easy for Todd. You know, we sent him to Holland, go out, go and grow up, um, and probably with a little bit of resistance. You know, it's probably something that this club's probably not done before in terms of sending too many lads out on loan. Uh, but it's something that we're determined to, to continue. It's about a future in the game. It's what we're all here for is to, to help to help that player get through the academy, get through that journey and, and ultimately end up in our first team or, or somebody else's. So that's that's where we're all working towards and, uh, and we've had a little bit of success lately so we, we need to continue, continue that.